Welcome back. This is episode two in the first series of Do Casinos Cheat? To be clear, we are not saying they do or they don't. We are merely running a series of trials to see what happens. We are offering what we hope is an unbiased view by looking at data in a number of ways and letting the results talk for themselves. Well, mainly anyway. You can see from the bottom table we are recording 250 spins before playing, then the 100 spins we actually play for, and another 10 spins just to see what happens after we stop betting. The first session was a bit behind expectation, but in our experience it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. So really, we are here to establish is the casino cheating, or is it just our perception of events when we see near misses? Let's dive straight into the next 100 results. We will review them every 25 spins, and of course with the data from two sessions we are bound to have some thoughts to share at the end of the video. Let's set up autoplay again and hope it runs for the full 100 spins this time. And of course, we're going to time lapse through the spins again. Right, let's go. Oh, look, spin two, and already a win. Wow, two wins in seven spins and no near misses so far. Awesome. Spoke too soon, the near misses are back. And another. Yes, definitely spoke too soon. Oh look, a connection issue chops off autoplay, but we caught it in time to get the next bet on. Good job really as spin 20 produces a win. Okay, we have made it to 25 spins, and this time the wins are just ahead of expectation. The misses are just slightly behind. One of the corners is lagging, and it's C5 again that's doing all the business. Let's bring in another view of the spins this time, so it's easier to see what actually happened in those last 25 spins. There's a few near misses grouped together. If you were just playing without doing as much analysis as we are here, then it might feel that something is amiss if you see so many near misses in quick succession. However, we are actually ahead. Let's see what happens next. Double 33 Where have the winds gone? Oh dear, this isn't good. Spin 50 arrives, and sadly we haven't got any more wins to report, so they slip behind expectation. The misses, on the other hand, have amassed a collection of wins. Pocket 19 is celebrating its birthday, with five outings helping the near misses move ahead of expectation. The corners have shifted with C32, picking up 10 wins in 25 spins. Of course, half of those were from 19. The second view looks extreme at a first glance. You could be forgiven for thinking the game is fixed, but when you consider a dozen can miss 25 times in a row, then our four pockets could easily miss for a lot more spins than that. If we look at the 50 spins from the perspective of the outside bets, then there probably isn't anything that would shock anyone. The second column is a bit behind and it's already had a loss of 11 and 17, its average win rate should improve in the next 50 spins. Similarly, the low numbers are also a fair way behind, and of course that's where all of the numbers we are covering reside. 
The biggest loss is only a seven, so that doesn't tell us much. But the total loss value, which will make sense to anyone who has watched our video called The Devil Controls Roulette, indicates that the low numbers fortunes are about to change. Let's see if our analysis holds up. Yes. Oh, just in time. Right, spin 75 already, and we've picked up two more wins, but we are in exactly the same place at this point as we were in the last session. The near misses have fallen back in line, and corner C32 and C5 are battling it out for first place. There were 13 low numbers, so at least they are stabilising, and column 2 has had six wins which is still below expectation, but the frequency is picking up. OK, final 25, let's get some wins. OK, here we go. That's it. Keep them coming. Oh, 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 double 12. That's three wins in seven spins. Nice. Yes, come on, a few more would be good. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Ah, what do you know? A win on the last spin. Nice. OK, let's have a quick look at the stats. So just one win behind expectation that's a much better result than the first session. The near misses are behind expectation, which is surprising if you think back to spins 26 to 50, where we had nine near misses in quick succession. Anyway, two dominant corners and one corner lagging behind, and a fairly strong finish with five wins in the last 25 spins and only two near misses. Right, time to update the results board. Well, RP, I can't believe it's been a week already since the first episode. I know, time flies. It's been a busy week with some great feedback from viewers. Really, that's amazing. Um, I know you're going to run through the results in a minute, but please tell me more about the viewers' feedback. Well, one viewer suggested covering 35 pockets at the same time to see if there is a spike in the remaining pockets, which would be a good indicator to see if things are as they should be or not. That sounds interesting. Can you actually cover that many pockets at the same time? You can. Although not all casinos allow that much coverage, but with the one we have been using it is possible. And is that something you are going to do? Yes, it's very likely. If we get enough likes and subscriptions from this series, then we'll know it's something viewers would like to see more of. Well, I have to say I'm looking forward to seeing the results board. Are you going to talk us through it now? Yes, of course. Thank you. It would be my pleasure. Right, 
It's still early days, so the board speaks for itself at the moment, but I want to talk about how we can improve this video series and make it more useful for roulette players, perhaps saving them time and money going forward. A number of viewers suggested alternative bets that would be better than the pockets we have chosen. This is an interesting concept because all same size bets are, well, the same. We purposely spaced our bets out to spark this debate. It has been suggested that clustering pockets together on the wheel would produce better results and far less near misses. Assuming a fair wheel, any four pockets have exactly the same chance of winning as any other four pockets. It is challenging for us humans, with our cognitive biases, to accept that there is no inherent difference between four pockets clustered next to each other on a physical wheel and the concept of four pockets adjacent to each other on a gaming table. Some people specifically choose to play wheel bets, while others stick to the conventional bets like the columns and dozens which effectively scatters their bets all over the wheel. So who is right? Well, you've probably never seen any neighbourly system doing better than any tableless counterpart, because there is no difference between same size bets over time, as we will demonstrate by the end of the series. But the perception that clustered pockets on the wheel would do better remains persistent for many players, with their intuition clouding statistical reality by pointing out that clustering would reduce the number of near misses. Of course, if we are sticking with one pocket either side of a clustered bet being classed as a near miss, then the clustered pockets win that argument. But seeing less near misses does not increase your overall wins, which is perhaps where the misconceptions arise. To get a fair comparison, you would need to include four pockets either side of the bet as being a near miss. We have also had viewers asking if we can do a series for some of the standard bets playing a progression such as the Martingale system on red or black. Well, we can actually just add the results for these to this series. Because we are recording the spins throughout the series, we can simply run any kind of bet we choose through a simulator and produce additional results based on the same real spins. From there, we can see how a number of different bets would stack up against each other, as if we had been playing them at the same time. We appreciate that this doesn't check to see if the casino is moving the goalposts while playing a specific bet. However, with fixed spins, we can be confident there is no mysterious force in hand, and we can see how various bets would play out. If a bet fails on guaranteed fixed real spins, then it's unreasonable to expect it will ever work in a live game. In the next episode, we will introduce our simulator and push some buttons to get results from the previous sessions for you. If you would like to push some buttons yourself, then please feel free to use these ones, as it will really help us with this exciting process.